Ja, det är absolut. Det är lite mindre, det gör ingenting. Då skulle du kunna göra två skivor ju. Yeah. Vad det nu blir. De måste ju ändå ha lite substans. Lite köp, jag Ja, typ en... Okay, welcome. Um, so today we're making anglerfish, as you saw previously in the video, and uh, I'm going to top that with some smoked shrimp, which is really good. Um, you can use regular shrimp, I'm sure. Uh, and then I have some Tuscany flavored uh, potatoes that I'm going to fry. Uh, all this is going to be cooked on the uh, grill grates that I have for my Weber Q1200, and I will show you that a little bit further on. But first off, I'm going to show you the shrimp. Okay, so the plan is to um, use the grill grates on the right side uh, to sear and get some grill marks on the fish and then I'm going to move them to the other side and load the temp and finish them off there. Uh, they cook fairly easily, this type of fish, but it should um, still need to be on there for about 10 to 15 minutes perhaps total. Uh, anyway, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with uh, heating the grill and then I'm going to let this come up to temp and I'm going to put the potatoes on because I think they're going to take a little bit longer. I'll be back. Okay, so anglerfish. Um, this is cut over a quite small one. These are, well, hand-sized. Uh, I think the total weight of these were about seven, six to seven ounces each, 150 grams. And it's not really that much to do with them. I'm going to remove a little bit of this um, uh, silver skin-like membrane on the outside and then I'm going to season them with a little bit of oil, salt and pepper. I'm going to use the Tuscany salt as well and then after I flip them over and move them to indirect I'm going to use this Herb de Provencal paste and I'm going to mop that on top of them but I don't really want that to uh, make it stick to the grate, the grill grate so I'm just going to add that as a topping afterwards. Anyway, okay, so I'm just gonna wrap these up in the foil and uh, let them rest until it's time to put them on the grill in about five minutes. Okay, time to put the potatoes on. Okay, the potatoes have been on there for about two minutes. <laughs> I think that's actually more than enough because it's gonna take a while to put the fish as well. I'm gonna put the fish onto the grate just like so. Mind you that this is the first time that I use this grill grate ever. I'm gonna pour that on there as well. So, like I said, this is just a little bit of um, butter flavored oil and uh, salt and pepper. Okay, back in a bit. Okay, so it's been another three minutes and I'm actually gonna move this onto the griddle part and keep cooking them there. And of course yeah. I forgot that I was supposed to put the paste on there. So I'm just gonna cover it up like so and then mop that out there. Okay, so I'm gonna temp these and, and I'm gonna temp them in Swedish and um, metric first. They're supposed to be between 45 and 50 degrees Celsius. Um, so these are actually or let's get in there, and that is uh, 125 Fahrenheit. This one's a little bit thinner, but still not as cooked. I don't want this to be raw, because I don't want it to be sushi. But anyway, I think I'm gonna go with that, and um, I'll meet you by the table. They are looking quite nice. Fried anglerfish on um, the griddle on the little baby queue. 
So I need to try this. Ah, it's really just so good. I'm gonna try a piece with a little bit of shrimp as well. Mmm. Mmm. Fishing town heaven. Um, smoked shrimp. If you haven't had it, try to get it. It's awesome. Anyway, thank you for watching this slightly longer, not quickie with Lasse. Have a nice day. Bye.